Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com with 2024 Bowman Chrome Baseball HTA Choice Edition 12 box. Pick your team 11. Um, buy a team, you got a chance at an Otani. That's Super Fractor right there. Good luck, everybody. Here's a fresh case. Here's the list for pick your team 11. Thanks everybody for hanging with me on a Monday night. Stephen Flatt had double last spot mojo with the Rockies and the Fish. So thanks to him for that. There's everybody else. Well, the last game of the uh, of NFL Week 2 proved to be another upset. I feel like there were a lot of road teams that upset a lot of teams. Some do a lot big dogs that have been... I know my Raiders were like plus 9 or like nine, eight, nine point dogs. And they ended up winning outright. Falcons were plus five and a half to start the game. Another road dog that won. Weird week. All right, first box, pick your team 11. Pick your team 12 in the store right now. Keep picking off some teams. We can, might be able to get another one in tonight. Yeah, good Dodgers win. Oliver, I agree. I'm going to start off with Yandel Ricardo for the Royals, Matthew. Yeah, another another crooked inning. And a solid performance by Yamamoto. So if, I mean, that, that those, it might be it, Oliver. Jack Flaherty and Yamamoto. Just your start, your one and two starters. We have to piece together the rest of a playoff rotation. And then, uh, and then yeah, the offense has to, has to really step up. There's Nafi Castillo, 127 out of 150 for Arizona. That's for Adam George. And we got Rowdy Rodriguez, 240 out of 299. Angels. That's for Josh. All right, good start. Next box. Right. I think the offense will determine that. It can't be it can't be quiet offenses like last year or the year before that. So that means you know, Mookie can't can't fall asleep. Freddie can't. I think having Otani, you know, and Ty Oscar on that in that lineup definitely helps a ton. It's got to help in the playoffs. Right, I agree. Here is Fry Me De Leon, 80 out of 99. DY with the Red Sox. There's Calais Harrison, 137 out of 150. Pirates, it's going to be for Joe Lawson. And there's Wilfredo Lara. But I think with guys like Tommy Edmond and sort of Kike kind of playing better, Gavin Lux playing better, and just being more confident at the plate, you know, I do feel like that uh, the Dodgers hitting has been a lot better. Or the lineup just is, I think that was bonus auto too. I think the lineup's been constructed a lot better than, than I've seen in a little bit. You get... I don't know, if you can get a couple guys 
healthy. I'm kind of hoping that Gavin Stone comes back healthy. He can still do it. Kershaw could still come back, I guess. But now the health of Jack Flaherty and, and Yamamoto is now just critical for the Dodgers' chances for a deep playoff run, plus the bats. Here's Marvin, Marvin Alcantara. That's for Boston. It's going to go to D.Y. I mean, I don't expect Edmund to hit the homers that he's been hitting lately, but... But just to get on base somehow is all we really need. His speed at the bottom of the lineup. We'll need it. Stone Russell, Royals. It's going to be for Matthew. And here is Jose Castro, 408 out of 499, refractor autograph. Aaron with the Yankees. I think so too. Yeah, and of course Edmonds defense, you can't 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 discount that at all. Yeah, Bobby Miller starts gonna determine who's on the roster. Walker Buehler put in a decent start the other night. So I hope that Walker Buehler can kind of kind of keep tuning things up in the next uh, in his next start or two, and hopefully he can go into the playoffs. Just feeling feeling confident because we're going to need him. Here is Gennaro Miller for the fish. That's for Stephen Flat, last bot mojo. Here is Jordan Wicks, 417 out of 499. Rookie auto for the Cubs, E8. With the Cubs. And then there is Adelaide Koloki, 150 out of 150. That's for the Rockies, another last Bob Mojo team. They were just sitting there. They were the last two teams in this case. Nobody wanted them. Could have had some hits. Yeah, that's right, Oliver. I realized that we that we put the Ravens at 0-2. Now, now Oliver Steelers has a nice little two-game lead in the AFC North. Of course, everyone knows the stat. I think it's... I think if you go 0-2 to start the season... Your playoff chances go down considerably, but just going two and zero doesn't necessarily mean your Super Bowl chances increase significantly. I think there's nice Thyron Lorenzo. That's for Adam Kelly and the Dodgers, part of the big Jack Flaherty trade. And we got Victor Hurtado for the Nats. That's going to go to David M. and the Nationals. And the Chargers, right, at home. I don't know. I feel like Chargers looked okay. And there's a Shedri Vargas to 499. I think maybe some decent coaching is the difference for that team. They've been running the ball a lot. They're a lot tougher team. Adam Kelly with the Rangers. Sure, Panthers are also a bad team. 
But that's gen that's traditionally a spot where the Chargers would like lose or not cover or something like that. But they played they played played the Panthers comfortably. My Raiders host uh, it's their home opener, and they're going to be hosting the Carolina Panthers, who benched Bryce Young. Benched Bryce Young and is going with Andy Dalton. Who's gonna go to go to play the Raiders? There's Andres Valor. Another one for Miami. Last spot mojo. Oh, and a redemption, and it's Ethan Salas. Prime Chrome Signatures. This was the chase in last year's Bowman Chrome. It's going to go to Mark and the Padres. And here's Enrique Jimenez, 108 out of 250. That's going to be for Dave Casey and the Tigers. All right, another box. Here is uh, Her Herberto Rincon for the Mets. That's going to be for Alex. Alex Donnelly with the Mets. Then we got Jose Perdomo, 147 out of 150 for the Braves. Dan Tyson with the Braves. And here is Yandel Ricardo, 217 out of 299. It's going to be for Matthew Lane and the Royals. Been any significant movement in the uh, in the wild card races? I think Mets and Braves are still battling for the final wild card spot. Mets are Mets are a game ahead of the Braves. There's Braylon Brazoban for the Pirates. That's going to be for Joe Lawson. And in the, uh, and believe it or not, in the, in the American League, the Tigers are one and a half games back of the Twins for the final wild card spot. Here's young Corey De La Cruz. That's for Miami, Stephen Flatt. Chad Dawes Mariners are two games back. And here's Alder Cecil, 55 out of 499. 
And the Dodgers do not have, my Dodgers anyway, do not have the, uh, I don't think, well, no one's officially clinched their divisions, right? Yankees are three ahead of the Orioles, so that's still a bit of a battle. Royals are five back of the Guardians, and I think they're a little, but they're, uh, they've got a wild card spot, the second wild card spot. They're two and a half games ahead. They should be okay. Yeah, Twins and, Ro and Tigers are the ones battling, and as well as the Mariners are battling for those wild card spots. Not sure if the Mariners are going to catch the Astros. They're four and a half back. I guess Philadelphia is cruising ahead of the Mets, eight games ahead. So Mets and Braves are just going to be have to be content with fighting for a wild card spot. Brewers are ten games ahead of the Cubs. Dodgers are four games ahead of the Padres, six games ahead of the Diamondbacks. So they started pulling away from the Diamondbacks. Padres are so close, and I still think they play games against each other t towards the end of this month. Jose Castro, Yankees. It's going to be for Aaron. Then there's Yoniel Corret, 24 out of 99. That'll be for Matthew and the Royals. Dwayne with the Rays. And there's uh, Yurdrick Profar, 122 out of 250. That's going to be for you, Kevin. That's uh, Yurikson's brother. Here's Enrique Jimenez, Tigers. It's going to be for Dave Casey. Here's Jose Perdomo, 45 out of 99. It's going to be for the Braves, Dan, with the Bravos. There's an extra auto in this box. That's nice. And we've got another Tiger. That's Michael Orozco, Orozco, 29 out of 100. Dave with Detroit. And we got a brave, Jose Perdomo. Another Jose Perdomo. This is a base Jose Perdomo for Dan and the Braves. Now the Tigers actually have the third best team ERA in baseball. It's a team you probably don't want, a team that might make a little noise in the playoffs with that kind of pitching.
Brewers also have the have a top five. They're fourth, top five in the ERA and top ten in batting average. You know, top ten in OPS. It's another team that's kind of sneaky, scary. Here's Juan Flores for Josh and the Angels. Sure is, Gavin. Remember, Gavin, we got a schedule pinned in the chat, so you always know what we're doing, what we're going to do, what we have done. Unless I didn't update the schedule. I did update the schedule. Yes. Astros, Jeremy Port, Sportport, and another Tiger, Clayton Campbell, to 299. That is for Dave Casey and the Tigers. All right, final box coming up. Kaylee Harrison. It's going to be for Joe Lawson and the Pirates. And there's Annabelle Salas for Dave Casey and the Tigers. And the third and final autograph is going to be Iverson Allen, 194 out of 499 for his tiny autograph. That actually looks pretty cool. Iverson Allen, IA, is going to go to Joe Lawson and the Pirates. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, another nice Bowman Chrome HTA break in the books. That was Pick Your Team 11. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Pick Your Team 12 is almost, uh, is in single digits. It's almost to the final four teams. So get after it. jazbeescasebreaks.com. Bye-bye.